Small Intestine Cancer Definition Small intestine cancer is a rare disease where cells in the tissue of the small intestine change. They grow out of control and can form a mass or tumor. Intestinal cancer occurs when cancerous cells form in the small intestine or small bowel. When cancer develops in the large intestine, also called the large bowel or colon, it is called colorectal cancer. The small intestine connects the stomach to the large intestine. It is divided into three sections, the duodenum, jejunum and ileum. Most types of small intestine cancer develop in the duodenum. Intestinal cancer types The main types of small intestine cancer include Adenocarcinomas, the most common type of small intestine cancer, usually develop in the cells that line the walls of the small intestine. Often, this type of cancer will develop out of small benign, non-cancerous, growths called polyps. Sarcoma is a type of intestinal cancer that develops in the connective tissue of the small intestine. Gastrointestinal stromal tumors are variants of soft tissue sarcoma. Carcinoid tumors form in the lining of the intestines and are often are slow growing. Lymphomas are an immune system disease that may originate in the intestines. Causes The exact cause of small bowel cancers is unknown. In general, small bowel cancer begins when healthy cells in the small bowel develop changes, mutations, in their DNA. A cell's DNA contains a set of instructions that tell a cell what to do. Healthy cells grow and divide in an orderly way to keep body functioning normally. But when a cell's DNA is damaged and becomes cancerous, cells continue to divide, even when new cells aren't needed. As these cells accumulate, they form a tumor. With time, the cancer cells can grow to invade and destroy a normal tissue nearby. And cancerous cells can spread, metastasize, to other parts of the body. Risk Factors Factors that may increase the risk of small bubble cancer include Age, average age at diagnosis is 60 Sex, slightly higher risk in men Genetics Smoking and alcohol use High fat diet Living or working near large quantities of some chemicals, like phenoxyacetic acid Other conditions that affect gut, like Crohn's, colon cancer, or celiac disease Lymphedema, damage to the vessels that connect to the lymph nodes. Clinical manifestation. Signs and symptoms of small bowel cancer include Abdominal pain. Yellowing of the skin and the whites of the eyes, jaundice. Feeling unusually weak or tired. Nausea. Wanting. Losing weight without trying. Blood in the stool, which might appear red or black. Watery diarrhea. Skin flushing Stages Stage 0, the cancer has not grown beyond the mucosa. Stage I, stage 1 intestinal cancer in this stage, the disease has grown beyond the mucosa, but has not spread beyond the small intestine to other sites or lymph nodes. Stage 2, Stage 2 intestinal cancer The cancer has grown into or through the intestinal wall. At this stage, it may or may not have reached nearby organs. There is no evidence of spread of disease to lymph nodes or distant sites. Stage 3 Stage 3 intestinal cancer In stage 3 of intestinal cancer, the disease has metastasized to nearby lymph nodes. The tumor may be any size, T1 through T4. The cancer may or may not have reached nearby organs. Distant sites like the lung or liver remain unaffected. Stage 4 Stage 4 intestinal cancer The cancer may be any size and has spread throughout the body to distant sites like the liver, lung or lining of the abdominal cavity. Diagnostic evaluation Physical exam and history An exam of the body to check general signs of health, including checking for signs of disease, such as lumps or anything else that seems unusual. A history of the patient's health habits and past illnesses and treatments will also be taken. Blood chemistry studies, 
a procedure in which a blood sample is checked to measure the amounts of certain substances released into the blood by organs and tissues in the body. An unusual, higher or lower than normal, amount of a substance can be a sign of disease. Liver function tests, a procedure in which a blood sample is checked to measure the amounts of certain substances released into the blood by the liver. A higher than normal amount of a substance can be a sign of liver disease that may be caused by small intestine cancer. Endoscopy, a procedure to look at organs and tissues inside the body to check for abnormal areas. There are different types of endoscopy. Upper endoscopy, a procedure to look at the inside of the esophagus, stomach, and duodenum, first part of the small intestine, near the stomach. An endoscope is inserted through the mouth and into the esophagus, stomach, and duodenum. An endoscope is a thin, tube-like instrument with a light and a lens for viewing. It may also have a tool to remove tissue samples, which are checked under a microscope for signs of cancer. Capsule endoscopy, a procedure to look at the inside of the small intestine. A capsule that is about the size of a large pill and contains a light and a tiny wireless camera is swallowed by the patient. The capsule travels through the digestive tract, including the small intestine, and sends many pictures of the inside of the digestive tract to a recorder that is worn around the waist or over the shoulder. The pictures are sent from the recorder to a computer and viewed by the doctor who checks for signs of cancer. The capsule passes out of the body during a bowel movement. Double Balloon Endoscopy, a procedure to look at the inside of the small intestine. A special instrument made up of two tubes, one inside the other, is inserted through the mouth or rectum and into the small intestine. The inside tube, an endoscope with a light and lens for viewing, is moved through part of the small intestine and a balloon at the end of it is inflated to keep the endoscope in place. Next. The outer tube is moved through the small intestine to reach the end of the endoscope, and a balloon at the end of the outer tube is inflated to keep it in place. Then, the balloon at the end of the endoscope is deflated and the endoscope is moved through the next part of the small intestine. These steps are repeated many times as the tubes move through the small intestine. The doctor is able to see the inside of the small intestine through the endoscope and use a tool to remove samples of abnormal tissue. The tissue samples are checked under a microscope for signs of cancer. This procedure may be done if the results of a capsule endoscopy are abnormal. This procedure is also called double balloon enteroscopy. Laparotomy, a surgical procedure in which an incision, cut, is made in the wall of the abdomen to check the inside of the abdomen for signs of disease. The size of the incision depends on the reason the laparotomy is being done. Sometimes organs or lymph nodes are removed or tissue samples are taken and checked under a microscope for signs of disease. Biopsy, the removal of cells or tissues so they can be viewed under a microscope to check for signs of cancer. This may be done during an endoscopy or laparotomy. The sample is checked by a pathologist to see if it contains cancer cells. Upper GI series with small bubble follow through, a series of x-rays of the esophagus, stomach, and small bowel. The patient drinks a liquid that contains barium, a silver white metallic compound. The liquid coats the esophagus, stomach, and small bowel. X-rays are taken at different times as the barium travels through the upper GI tract and small bowel. CT scan, CAT scan a procedure that makes a series of detailed pictures of areas inside the body, taken from different angles. The pictures are made by a computer linked to an X-ray machine. A dye may be injected into a vein or swallowed to help the organs or tissues show up more clearly. This procedure is also called computed tomography, computerized tomography, or computerized axial tomography. MRI, magnetic resonance imaging a procedure that uses a magnet, radio waves, and a computer to make a series of detailed pictures of areas inside the body. This procedure is also called Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Imaging NMRI. Management Three types of standard treatment are used. Surgery Surgery is the most common treatment of small intestine cancer. One of the following types of surgery may be done. Resection Surgery to remove part or all of an organ that contains cancer. 
The resection may include the small intestine and nearby organs, if the cancer has spread. The doctor may remove the section of the small intestine that contains cancer and perform an anastomosis, joining the cut ends of the intestine together. The doctor will usually remove lymph nodes near the small intestine and examine them under a microscope to see whether they contain cancer. Bypass Surgery to allow food in the small intestine to go around. Bypass A tumor that is blocking the intestine but cannot be removed. Radiation therapy Radiation therapy is a cancer treatment that uses high-energy X-rays or other types of radiation to kill cancer cells or keep them from growing. There are two types of radiation therapy. External radiation therapy uses a machine outside the body to send radiation toward the cancer. Internal radiation therapy uses a radioactive substance sealed in needles, seeds, wires, or catheters that are placed directly into or near the cancer. Chemotherapy Chemotherapy is a cancer treatment that uses drugs to stop the growth of cancer cells, either by killing the cells or by stopping them from dividing. When chemotherapy is taken by mouth or injected into a vein or muscle, the drugs enter the bloodstream and can reach cancer cells throughout the body. Systemic chemotherapy. When chemotherapy is placed directly into the cerebrospinal fluid, an organ, or a body cavity such as the abdomen, the drugs mainly affect cancer cells in those areas. Regional chemotherapy. New types of treatment are being tested in clinical trials. Biologic therapy. Biologic therapy is a treatment that uses the patient's immune system to fight cancer. Substances made by the body or made in a laboratory are used to boost, direct, or restore the body's natural defenses against cancer. This type of cancer treatment is also called biotherapy or immunotherapy. Radiation therapy with radiosensitizers. Radiosensitizers are drugs that make tumor cells more sensitive to radiation therapy. Combining radiation therapy with radiosensitizers may kill more tumor cells. Nursing management. Nursing diagnosis. Imbalanced nutrition, less than body requirements, related to nausea and anorexia. Risk for deficient fluid volume related to vomiting and dehydration. Anxiety related to impending surgery and the diagnosis of cancer. Pain related to tumor mass. Impaired skin integrity related to the surgical incisions, abdominal and perianal, the formation of a stoma, and frequent fecal contamination of peristomal skin. Disturbed body image related to colostomy. Ineffective sexuality patterns related to presence of ostomy and changes in body image and self-concept. Risk for ineffective therapeutic regimen management related to knowledge deficit concerning the diagnosis, the surgical procedure, and self-care after discharge. Anticipatory grieving related to the diagnosis of cancer. Deficient knowledge regarding self-care activities. Nursing interventions. Maintaining optimal nutrition. Providing emotional support. Relieving pain. Preparing the patient for surgery and post-operative care. Maintaining optimal nutrition. Providing wound care. Monitoring and managing complications. Removing and applying the colostomy appliance. Complications. Small bowel cancer can cause complications, including an increased risk of other cancers. People who have small bowel cancer run a higher risk of having other types of cancers, including those that affect the colon, rectum, ovaries and the lining of the uterus, endometrium. Cancer that spreads to other parts of the body. Advanced small bowel cancer can spread, metastasize, to other parts of the body, most often the liver. Prevention Eat a variety of fruits, vegetables and whole grains. Drink alcohol in moderation, if at all. Stop smoking. Exercise most days of the week. Maintain a healthy weight. So guys, thanks for watching my video. You can like and comment on my video, but don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to watch quality content like this. Thank you guys.